Appreciate that info. OK, here's some more info about the 2024 solar eclipse. We're in the path of totality. This is what the shadow of the moon will look like from space here in North Texas. Fort Worth, Dallas, Hillsboro, Waco, all in the path of totality. Totality between 140 to 144. So ideally, we would have clear conditions for this, right? Yeah, there's 0% chance of that happening. We've already established that. The more likely scenario for eclipse totality will be high clouds. And if that's the case, there's about a 95% chance of that happening. If that's the case, you'll still be able to detail out the sun's corona. That's the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere atmosphere once the, the moon is completely blocking out the sun. There is a chance for some low clouds to move in. If that's the case, it's going to make the eclipse a little bit more difficult to see the unlikely scenario and hopefully this doesn't happen, but there's a small chance is that we have a mix of high and low clouds. If that's the case, it'll make visibility very difficult. But here's the thing, even if it's cloudy during the eclipse, it'll still become dark. It'll still look like it's sunset time. If it's twilight, it'll still trick animals and plants to thinking that it's nighttime. It's going to impact the behavior of animals, insects and plants. Birds will change their habits and uh, they're singing. Uh, they'll stop flying and return to their nests. And during this time, crickets may begin to chirp. Spiders may take down their webs and bees may even return to their hives. So that's enough time for to signal these animals to start to change their habits for the day. Uh, another interesting part is that plants may even close their leaves or open their flowers for the night for pollinating insects and plants will stop photosynthesizing because of the lack of sun and temperatures may even change. So either way, it's going to be a really fascinating uh, couple of hours here in North Texas, Dia. Thanks for that, Marielle. I love the explainer. We all need it. Be sure to join us for special team coverage of the eclipse on Monday. We'll be live at the Perot Museum of Science in downtown Dallas. Marielle will be there along with astronomers from the Carnegie Institute of Science. Our two hour special begins on WFAA Plus at noon. And then at 1.30, we'll be carrying the eclipse live right here on WFAA.